So Ted, the second question that we have is they're not sure what to offer. Um, they don't know, they don't have a product, they don't have an ebook or coaching, or they have no idea what they want to offer. They know they want to offer something, but what would you say if they don't know what to offer? Yeah, well, I can't sit here and tell you exactly what to offer, but I can give you some guidance on how to figure out what to offer. And so the number one reason across the board, the number one reason why people don't get started monetizing their Instagram account and even growing their Instagram account in the first place is because they have nothing to offer. And so if they have nothing to offer, they're like, what's the point of growing my Instagram if I have nothing to offer? Because I'm not going to sell anything, right? What's the point of growing something if nothing to sell or nothing to offer? And so the best things I see that work really, really well online across the board, and here's some advice. You want to just sell what works. Offer what people are already wanting. So the best thing is digital goods. And these come in three forms. I see the best three things work. It's eBooks, it's courses, and it's coaching. Those are the big three, eBooks, courses, and coaching. And so to get clear on what sort of ebook or course or coaching program you want to put together, you want to follow the PSR method. What's the PSR, that? The PSR method is really, really cool. If you go through this, fill in the blanks here, you'll, you'll, you'll have a really good idea of what you want to help people with. So first, you want to get clear. You don't even think about your own offer. Don't even think about yourself. Just think outwardly of everyone around you. Think of society in general, okay? In fact, walk onto the beach, walk into a Walmart and look around and you get, you get the answer to this one. First one is the P. Get clear on what problem people are having. Mm -hmm. What's the problem everyone's having that you know they want to get rid of? Are they overweight? Do they have acne? Are they, are they have bad posture? Maybe they can't speak properly. Maybe they have a stutter. Maybe they have um, bad relationships. Maybe they have poor digestion. They have gas and bloating, right? And uh, heartburn. Like, what's the problem people are having? Once you get clear on that problem, and it needs to be a problem that you next know the solution to, right? Mm -hmm. So the S comes in. What's the solution? So if you see someone with a bad posture, maybe you know of a way of, like, helping them fix the posture. If you see someone with um, acne, like, when I see someone with acne, I know the solution. I see they have a problem, and I know the solution. The solution, my friends, by the way, in case you're wondering, raw foods, papayas, right? <laughs> Raw food. That's what cured my acne. And I know I can help other guys help their acne as well. So the solution, I know the solution is, is a raw vegan fruitarian diet. So you want to look around at the problem. Then you want to think of the solution. And lastly, you want to get clear on what is the end result going to be for the person. So if mm -hmm. I see someone with acne and I help them with get on the fruit diet and their acne clears up, what's the end result going to be? What do you think the end result is going to be? Clear skin, right? Yep. So now you can spend your whole time focused on your account on showing people how to get clear skin. It's how to get clear skin. I see a lot of people, Lisa, they're all about like um, how to be raw vegan or, or how, to, how to be this and how to be that. But like, what's the point? Like, what are you trying to accomplish with raw foods? Like, this is just a tool, a tool for better weight better digestion, better skin, more energy, better sleep, some better confidence, right? This is, this, is the, this is the unlock, right? This is the tool, but what's the result? And so my advice for people trying to come up with what sort of offer to come up with, is like people already have problems. You already have the solutions. Now you just got to focus on helping them get that result. And then your offer can just be a series of or combination of things that you love to do to help people implement that solution to get rid of their problem. Mm -hmm. so, exactly. Yeah. And I've noticed also a lot of people who don't know what to offer already do know the solution because they, it can come from their own personal experience. Like say they lost 70 pounds, they can help other people lose 70 pounds because they know the solution works for them. So they have a story people can relate and they're more likely to um, follow and relate to you and all that kind of stuff. And, and even if you, uh, even if you personally haven't lost 70 pounds, mm -hmm. but um, you helped, I spoke to a lady the other day, she helped her mom and her sister overcome cancer, right? Wow. So that's what she's good at. She's never had cancer, mm -hmm. but she's helped her mom and her sister overcome cancer. She got them on a raw food diet. She did a bunch of stuff and helped them overcome cancer. So she feels confident in helping other people overcome certain diseases or certain viruses, certain infections, whatnot. And so even if someone hasn't necessarily 
done the thing, they, if they still know how to help someone do the thing, that's very powerful as well. Like, look at Michael Phelps, greatest swimmer of all time. His swimming coach was overweight. A big overweight guy who couldn't even swim probably half a lap without losing his breath. Right? But he knew how to coach Michael. And mm -hmm. so if you know how to get a result, you personally may not need to know how to do it or do it yourself, but you know, you, you know, you need to know how to help other people do it. And so listen, I see a lot of people, they, they come and they say, Hey, I have a lot of passions. I'm passionate about yoga and, and diet and meditation. How do I combine all these things together? Oh, and well, I would pick one and try to incorporate the other ones into the solution. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. So yeah, so you, you have meditation, yoga, and nutrition, for example. But these are just tools. Again, this is just like a diet. It's just rough. What's the point? So instead, you just set these aside for a sec. What's the result? Okay, the, oh, the result is um, no more anxiety. Oh, okay, now let's bring these three back in. All right, and we can have the core focus around meditation, but then we also add in the yoga and the nutrition to help make that meditation that much more effective so that they get that anti-anxiety result so much better. So Again, as far as what to offer goes, you just focus on the um, problem first. You find the problem, come up with the solution, and you focus on the result. And then you just package that up step by step in an ebook or a course or a coaching program, right? And if people want to learn how to do that, we go into depth on that inside of the uh, growth challenge. So this isn't just about growing your Instagram account. If it was, that'd be pretty lame and pretty superficial. We want to actually help people monetize that by creating an awesome product or service online. So that's what we do best. And that's what we're excited to do in the growth challenge. Yes. I'm so excited. <laughs> Going to be fun.